Right then guys, yep, you guessed it, you got me the one with the crazy pink hair. Right, today videos, today's video is on power factor correction. Now I'm going to try and explain this simply. Um, I'd like to say a thank you to Spiky Projects. I know information, won't admit it, but he knows everything. And, uh, and that is for helping me get some pictures, diagrams and and actually help me out with this video so I can actually try and help you guys understand it as he helped me understand it um, so thank you very much and there will be a link to his site there's going to be links to these pictures that I'll be sharing here with you now um, and also a link to Rides Fast channel Ride Fast Zero's channel sorry um, and he's got an awesome video on power factor correction actually at work um, so it it shows you the losses and the reason why we do this use power factor correction um, actually in real life you actually get to see it with meters on an arc and it, it's, it's, it's really good video so anyway let's waffling let's get on right basically say so basically right I'm gonna tell you in an ideal world okay we want a power factor of 1, which is unity, okay? But we are going to assume that we have an inductive load, okay? So that could be a transformer, for instance, okay? With a power factor of 0.9, okay? So we're going to assume a power factor of 0.9. Okay, now, this is with a resistive load okay so resistive load resistive here has a power factor of one okay power factor of one is unity which is what we want okay so we have 240 which is your volts times 0 0.9 which is your power factor which gives us um, 216 volts okay so 3000 watts divided by 216 volts gives us our amps okay and that is 13.8 uh, we can only get 13 from our plug sockets okay so that's why it's dangerous to you not use it if you're running at a 3000 watt load okay um, it's more me out that can handle. Yes, you can upgrade 32 amp sockets like I've done, but still, there's a good reason for doing it because we get power loss. So we know the ideal power factor is one, which is unity. So 12.5 amps, 240 volts, power factor of one. So that is 240 volts times one, which we all know is going to be 240. So we've got it ballasted to 3000 watts. So that means we've got 12.5 amps at 3000 watts. That is perfect. Right, now then, the way to get that, okay, is to, right here, we have our inductive load, and that is called lag in power factor. We're, we're gonna go for a power factor of 0.9 seven okay um, I suppose I should have just gone for 0 0.9 um, to make it easier to go with what we're doing here um, but that's called lag okay resistive load remember power factor is unity so one right so we've got a capacitive load which is a power factor of 0 0.97 okay which is lead now on a scale, uh, you know, you have an amp meter for, for instance, okay, dodgy picture, the needle would normally sit here and go up, okay. On a cos, which is power factor, the thing sits here, and if it's leading, um, I'm pretty certain it goes down for capacitive, and it goes up for lag, okay, so this is why. That number there, that number there, if they're the same, they cancel each other out and gives you a power factor of one. 
okay, which is obviously perfect as unity. So if we've got this capacitor, put it here in parallel with our input, okay, that would actually give us a perfect um, power factor. So this would be our power factor correction. Now then, okay, I'm sorry I've got the numbers different here um, to what I'm actually sort of showing in the video. So we're actually going for 0 0.9. Um, so once you've worked out your power factor and everything, if it's ballasted with a resistive load, okay, this is to show you showing you the loss. Um, if it's if it's ballasted with a resistive load, load uh, ballast, sorry, there's no power loss from resistive. Remember, and this is to reduce the current to 12.5 amps. So you've got 12.5 times 240. Okay, so you've got 12.5, which is up here, which is your current. Okay. You've got times by 240, which is here, which is your volts, which is there, times by your power factor, which is here, which is here, your power factor, so that's the equations and how we both work out. That equals 700, no, 700, bloody hell, 2,700 watts, okay? So you've lost 3,000, okay? 3,000 watts minus 300 watts now because you've got 2700 so that gives you 300 watts loss watts ah, we all have my dodgy writing and drawings so 300 watt loss is huge okay now if you consider this is what I thought of when I when I first figured out a 300 watt loss some people would say yeah it doesn't matter okay well a reason that it could you know show you guys the the actual serious amount of power that is okay a lot of people use a 10 kV 30 milliamp sign transformer neon sign transformer NST whatever you want to call it and that is 300 watts so you're losing the whole power of a neon sign transformer. That's what someone would actually use on it to run a Tesla coil and get some, you know, some pretty decent arcs out of it. That's a hell of a lot of power loss. So once you've worked out basically your power loss, your actual 2,750. This is how you'd put it into a calculator. We are going to have a link to this. Okay. Now it asks for kilowatts. I've done it as watts. Okay, so 2,700 watts is actually 2.7 kilowatts. Okay, see, so and your real power, not what we wanted, which was three three kilowatts. You only your real power. Okay, after you've worked out your power factor equation. Okay, so then you enter your current in amps, which is 12.5. Volts 240, frequency in hertz, which is 50. Okay, hit the calculate calculate button, and it gives you a power factor result of 0 0.9, which is what we already worked out. Apparent power would be 3 kVA. Okay, reactive power is 1.3 kVAR. Um, and your power correction capacitor, power factor correction capacitor, sorry, um, would be 72.264616 microfarads. So, um, I'm hoping that that sort of kind of makes sense of you guys. And as I say, there's going to be links to all of this. Um, so, if we had a transformer here, okay. Um, yeah, really dodgy picture. We've got a resistive load, um, ballast, sorry. Um, we want to be getting unity. We want to be getting zero. I'm bloody crap with this. We want to be getting one, okay? This is what we're looking for. Okay, so I hope that makes sense, guys. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and, you know, all the rest of it. And uh, I really